Sundarbans, the world's largest contiguous stretch of mangrove forest, is not only enriched in luxuriant biodiversity, but also known for the thrilling life and adventurous livelihood offered to its inhabitants. The people living in and around the forest depend mostly upon fishing and rice-based farming system. But as most of the land here lies well below the water level of the brackish water rivers surrounding them, they protect their fields by constructing elevated earthen embankments. The mangrove forest further safeguards the fragile coastal ecosystem by absorbing the frequent cyclonic winds and storm surge. However, as a consequence of global warming, the climate of the Sundarbans is also changing. There has been a 26% increase in tropical cyclones over the past 120 years. Intensive rainfall within short periods of time leads to prolonged submergence of the ill-drained and low-lying crop fields. High storm surges often breach the river embankments, forcing saline water to inundate the inland. Late onset of monsoon, uneven distribution of rainfall and intermittent dry spells hamper the Kharif crop equally. The winter and summer seasons witness acute dearth of fresh water for irrigation, rendering huge areas to remain fallow. To address such climatic vulnerabilities, the Indian Council of Agricultural Research ICAR, launched a nationwide project titled National Innovations in Climate Resilient Agriculture NICRA, in 2011. The project is coordinated by the Central Research Institute for Dryland Agriculture at the national level and by the Agricultural Technology Application Research Institute Kolkata in Zone 5. Under this project, Ramkrishna Ashram Krishi Vigyan Kendra RAKVK, located at Neempeet in South 24 Parganas district of West Bengal, selected a cyclone-prone village, Bongheri, to demonstrate various climate resilient technologies. The village Bongheri is located on the bank of river Matla in Sundarvan. 72% of the agriculture land lying here are very low lying and remains waterlogged during the rainy season. Long duration traditional paddy varieties which are very low yielding are the only options to be grown here. The net profit from agriculture rarely exceeds 25,000 rupees from a hectare of such low lying situation. The Nikra project was initiated in 2012 with the formation of a village climate risk management committee. Group discussions and trainings were organized by the KVK scientists to create climate change awareness in the village and empower them to implement various climate resilient technologies. With the active participation of the community, the four kilometer long Kripa Khali Canal was rejuvenated to facilitate quick drainage of flood water. This created an opportunity to store 3.7 lakh cubic meters of rainwater that helped to irrigate 200 hectares of crop field in and around the village. Simultaneously, a mangrove plantation was done all along the one kilometer long Matla riverbed to protect the river embankment from storm surge during cyclones. To accommodate multiple cropping and improve the overall productivity of the lowlands, land shaping technology was demonstrated. In one fifth portion of the land, a farm pond was dug. The evacuated soil was used to raise the adjacent land up to 1.5 feet high and strengthen the land and pond embankments up to three feet high. The elevated terrain became suitable for growing short duration and high yielding rice varieties. The vegetables grown on the raised embankment were saved from water stagnation during flooding. The rainwater collected in the pond was used for irrigation and growing fish. A second or third crop became possible during winter and summer. The cropping intensity enhanced to 270%, resulting in 8 to 10 fold increase in net income. In the project, we have to do land saving. We have to do land saving. We have to do 
জমিতে যেমন ধান চাষ করতে পেরেছি তেমনি বিভিন্ন রকম সবজি যেমন লঙ্কা বেগুন টমেটো এবং পুকুরে মাছ চাষও করি তো এই সমস্ত চাষ মিলেমিশে দেখা যায় বছরে আমরা দেড় থেকে দু লাখ টাকা ইনকাম করতে পারি In smaller plots below 0.13 hectare of area aisle cultivation and broad bed gum trench method were implemented in aisle cultivation the entire land embankment called aisle locally was raised and broadened by 3 feet each along with rice in the lowland vegetables were grown over this modified embankment in broad bed gum trench system Three feet wide and three feet deep trenches were dug at three feet intervals. The strips of land in between the trenches were raised by three feet for growing vegetables. Amari nala madhe, boshka kalle niche dhancha shoy, evong upore shobisha shoy. Shit kalle niche mati ja bheja bhab thake, tate ekta shobisha shoy, evong upore wo shobisha shora hoy. Shara bachore yagi bige, mai nala madhe, pray. The water saving sprinkler irrigation helped to double the irrigated area and check soil salinity during hot and dry summer months. Similarly, to reduce the dependence on groundwater for domestic and drinking purposes, rooftop rainwater harvesting was implemented. The drudgery of women was reduced for they don't have to walk miles and spend hours to fetch potable water for 6 to 7 months in a year to minimize the yield loss during climatic stress various stress tolerant varieties were introduced the submergence tolerant rice varieties swarna sub 1 and cr1009 sub 1 yielded 50 to 78% more even after 12 to 14 days of continuous submergence The salt tolerant rice varieties Jarava and Luna Suverna recorded 28 to 69% yield improvement over the local varieties in salt affected areas. To minimize the indiscriminate use of agrochemicals, soil test based fertilizer application, vermicomposting, on farm mass production of Trichoderma and bio intensive IPM were adopted. To adapt to the drastic change in the pond water quality, fish species like tilapia and Asian catfish were introduced. Considering the growing demand for quality fish seeds, six Asian catfish hatcheries and one carp hatchery were established. Even under the COVID-19 lockdown period, such beneficiaries could earn between 60,000 and 1.3 lakh rupees. Stress tolerant and dual purpose poultry breeds like Nirbhik and RIR were introduced as backyard farming. It ensured additional revenue of 2000 rupees per month for the farm women from a flock of 20 birds. Animal health camps were organized regularly with interventions like vitamin and mineral supplementation, deworming and vaccination against diseases like HS, BQ and FMD in cattle. and PPR in goat cow sheds were renovated to improve animal hygiene a storm resistant two tier poultry house was also introduced as a result the village witnessed 27% increase in milk yield 59% increase in egg production and 32% reduction in mortality of small ruminants to attain climate resilience at community level several institutional interventions were taken up A local weather station is maintained in the village to record daily weather data. Weather forecasts and agro advisories are regularly disseminated by the KVK in collaboration with IMD. A community seed bank is maintained to store seeds of important food crops so that the farmers don't lose all their seeds at a time in the advent of any natural calamity. To ensure timely farm operations during any climatic vagaries A custom hiring center was set up with some major farm machineries. আমাদের যে কাস্টমারিং সেন্টারটি রয়েছে এখানে এখানে পাওয়ার টিলার, পেডিসিসার, কনোইডার, স্ট্রেয়ার, পামসেট ও অন্যান্য কৃষি যন্ত্রপাতি এখানে রয়েছে যে সমস্ত চাষী ঘরে এই সমস্ত কৃষি যন্ত্রপাতি নেই তারাও এখান থেকে সঠিক সময়ে নিয়ে গিয়ে এবং তাদের সবজি বাগান বা তাদের চাষবাস ভালোভাবে করছে। Till date, the Village Climate Risk Management Committee has amassed a revolving fund of two and a half lakh rupees, 
which will definitely help to sustain themselves even after the withdrawal of the project in future. The NICRA intervention so far ensured harvesting 100 crore litres of rainwater annually within the village. Lifting the same quantity of groundwater would have cost us 2.7 lakh litres of diesel and add 724 tonnes of carbon dioxide to the environment every year. Our KBK, with the help of government-funded schemes, mobilized more than 25 crore rupees for demonstrating 6,000 units of land shaping and oil cultivation. Due to the impact of NICRA interventions, the Ministry of Jal Shakti Government of India awarded the Gopalganj Gram Panchayat, under which the village Bangeri falls as the best Gram Panchayat in the Eastern Zone. The project NICRA was initiated at the backdrop of Cyclone Isla which devastated the village Bongeri in May 2009. Exactly after 11 years, the village again faced the fury of another super cyclone, Amphan, in May 2020. However, the Nikra project, in between, united the villagers to fight against the wrath of such climatic hazards. The farmers this time were ready with an array of climate smart technologies to outsmart the climatic vagaries, adapt to the changing climate and resilient enough to sustain their livelihood. We are extremely happy and grateful to the ICR Krida Hyderabad and ICR Atari Kolkata for extending their wholehearted support to stand by the hapless and downtrodden communities of the Sundarbans. I pray to the Lord for the well-being of one and all.